Hey everyone, welcome back. Now here we are in the uh, drive room of the Aurora where we sealed all the breaches previously and actually apparently not. Did I not? I, I got them all. That was just like a repaired one. So. We're gonna see if we can maybe, uh. Oh yeah, the inventory's full. Finally get into the captain's room now. So. Not the sea moth bay. Let's see, is there any uh, secret passage perhaps down here? No, but there are biter things. That's great. And I'm not in the mood to go on another slaughter spree. That did not go as I wanted to. Where's that empty battery at? There it is. I need a flashlight. That will definitely help. Let's see if there's anything fun that we might be able to <clears throat> scavenge from the area. Doesn't really seem like it. I've probably already been through here several times. We may as well uh, keep looking. I think this is just the exit. Yeah, I think it is too. Oh, there's something up there. Did I collect that? Yes, I did. Alright, so, let's see, definitely don't want to go through the airlocks, but I do want to make it back to the living quarters. Okay, I don't know what's really going on here, but apparently there's water vapor coming in, but it's not putting any fires out. Oh no. Oops. Thought there were stairs there. A lot of swimming needs to be done. Surprisingly, for a crashed ship. Um, did I come from this area? Yes, I did. I'm like lost. Oh, and I keep hurting myself. This is not going the way I wanted it to. Not one bit. Okay, this is where we want to go. All right, so it's up here. At least we have the prawn suit unlocked, but now we just need to get the Cyclops. So, I mean, that's kind of like a win-lose, I guess. Like, you know, it's cool that we have the Cyclops, but it doesn't really matter because, or it's cool we have this, the prawn suit, but it doesn't matter because we can't like do the dynamic duo that they uh, provide. Oh, 
there's got to be something that I'm missing. Okay. Did I maybe pick it up? Let's see. Geological data. Environment scan. Scattered red. Codes and clues. Cabin number one. Okay, we would have been to cabin number one. There's no zero. Huh. Um. So we got access to cabin number one, apparently which didn't really have anything special in it. Besides the usual wreckage. Um, cabin three, we've already scavenged through here. I wonder where the... There's gotta be a way to get in the captain's room. Be weird if the uh, code for it would be in here. Seems more likely it would be near the area, but I guess not. Cabin four. I'm pretty sure we already sweep, like swept through cabin four, but let's just do a double check. Yep, cabin four does not have a PDA in it. Um, neither does cabin six, seven. Hmm. That did not go well. Um. Nothing here either. Huh. <sighs> Hmm. Hmm. Prawn suit poster. It's a really durable poster. Um. Am I like missing something here? Is there maybe a panel that I need to repair somewhere to get access? Hmm. 
Okay, I don't want to spend too much time in here, so I'm going to break the rules and I'm going to quickly Google it because, I mean, I'm not Googling the code to look at where the uh, tablet is. So, okay, apparently I may have actually been right with you's birthday. Maybe. 1806. Huh. See, I So apparently it comes in through a radio message. So... Um, that might mean that I have to go all the way back and listen to the radio, then come all the way back just so I can open up the captain's quarters. Even though I have the code right here, because apparently the code is because like I can enter it right now, but uh. That's, uh, that's not really how I do things. So. Um. Well, if I can't find it, I'll come back to it eventually, but... We're just going to leave it as is because I'm not going to waste too much time trying to do that. Even though the code is technically 2679 and I could enter it right now and get it. I don't want to um, cheat to get it. I wanted to know where it was, but I don't want the code alone. I, I want the actual um, in-game thing for it first before I actually enter it. So... Be nice by the Cyclops, because then I could just set up. Wait a minute. Uh, where 
Where's the habitat builder? Scanner. Habitat builder. What does it cost to build a radio? We want to still underwater. Um, a radio requires titanium and copper to build. Is it possible to build it in here at all? And then like, what am I doing? Not going the right way, obviously. Um, let's see. I have no idea if I'm going the right way or not. Apparently not. But it does feel like this is generally the right way. Yep. So. Okay, now we're going to, have to go and sneak back into the, uh, sneak out in and out of this area here. So that way the, uh, the Reaper doesn't eat us alive. Look at that, I'm so sneaky and so smooth. So, let's uh, Ah, darn you. Well, there really isn't, um... Hmm. What if the captain's room even has anything that's worth it? So, we're going to find out though, aren't we? It's a little bit of a drive, but we'll get there eventually. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. What you going to do? Just keep swimming. <laughs> That's quite a bit of a, of a distance to go. I mean, oh, that poor peeper's dead. <sighs> All right. I never built a radio in this area. That's great. Okay. So that shall be done right now building a radio oh that's not a radio that's a medical kit fabricator that's a radio okay Just give me 
God, I hate my ethics. God damn ethics committee. All right. It's time to go back. It's at a high security terminal, so... Me being me, I love high security stuff. So we're gonna go and we're gonna shove a bunch of stuff into here though real fast and just get it out of the inventory. Including this. Let's go. <gasps> Whoa, that scared. Ah, well, that was weird. So my window is open just enough so the headlights of the car is passing nearby can go through the window and like as I'm just sitting here I just see my entire wall light up with headlights and it like kind of spooked me a little bit so and uh, now that we're um we've moved on to you know this and it's been a little bit since that since uh the Minecraft episode came out I wanted to apologize for uh my attitude in that video I was a little um I don't know what the reaction is because it's still on hold and standby, but I just wanted to say I'm like uh, I'm just sorry that uh, y'all had to had to deal with that nonsense and whatnot and had to listen to me um, deal with what was very well a personal problem and should have been cut out of the video. So my apologies. I did not mean for that to turn into a drama episode. So I'm sorry about that. Anyways. Now that that's out of the way, let's uh, let's get right back to it, I guess. I just happened again. The entire wall just lit up again. So I'm really hoping that um that that secure terminal has all the stuff that I want. Such as the Cyclops engine. Okay. Where is my opening at? Should be close, right? Too close for comfort. Way too close for comfort. I don't know if you guys saw that or not, but that guy was getting real close to me. Okay, Seamoth is secured. Staying close to the walls here. Where is it?
Did I like somehow miss it? Huh, what happened? Did it collapse on me and now I can't get there anymore? Is it over here? This looks right. Okay, no, but we're close. It's right here. There we go. I'm an idiot. Let's make this quick. Because <sighs> we can only spend so much time on the Aurora before it gets boring. Am I even navigating properly through here? Huh, I thought I was doing a pretty good job navigating, but apparently not. I don't like being under the water in this area because you can still hear the reaper. It feels like I'm being chased. Am I blind? I must be or something, because there's no reasonable reason I, mi I missed that. Oh well. It happened. Nothing I can do about it. Except for get caught in a bunch of pipes. Um, Let's see, I think it was two, six, seven, nine, uh, two, six, seven, nine, two, six, seven, nine, two, six, seven, nine. Yes. I'll be taking that. Okay, I don't think that got me what I needed, though. It did not. Great. So, this entire venture was worthless. <sighs> so, I have the way to get off this rock, but no Cyclops. So I'm actually going to have to try and hunt for it. I was really hoping like the captain's quarters had like all the blueprints, blueprints, blueprints available. But nope, and so I have to go find the Cyclops engine because... That's something I have to do, apparently. Still, after endless searching for it, still can't find it. Because I'm an idiot, a complete idiot. And I never did go look back at the other videos and see if I could actually figure out where I found the first part. <sighs> oh, 
And I'm lost in the pipes. Gosh. I'm still a little bit of a mess with the whole um, family situation that I'm currently going through right now. But that's not an excuse. Should be producing top quality. Well, on the bright side, though, pretty soon everything will be back to normal and I'll be able to not record these stressed out. So that'll be nice. Nice. And now I have to go and sneak through the area again and not get attacked by the Reaper. Isn't that fun? This entire episode is a mess and I'm sorry about that. Wouldn't it be cool if there was like a bunch of like Cyclops fragments down here? Yeah, too, but that's never gonna happen. It's more likely that I'll find Sea Moth fragments because a Reaper is about to come and get me. Uh, seasons no fear of the Reaper, except for the poor little guy in a Sea Moth. Okay. Scudaddle, scudoodle, I'm getting the heck out of here. So... This is usually the place where you find the Cyclops parts though, so maybe I'm just not looking hard enough. Wish I still had the rebreather on me. But instead I'm going to complete idiot and um, put it in the chest thinking that I'll be collecting more fun materials and not uh, deep sea diving. So that's on me and my idiocy. Hmm. Nice. Okay. That's what I wanted to know if Cyclops fragments still spawn in this area. Let's just hope this isn't Reaper territory. Okay. I'll be quick about this. Um, 
Come on, please get lucky. Please get lucky. Please get lucky. What's that? Whole fragment. Whole fragment. God, this area is so cool. Am I not going to make it? Probably not. There we go. I don't know what I was doing in there, but. Sorry, I kind of went silent there. Um, I got a little too focused in the game. I'm just kind of distracted right now. It's been a long day. You would think that after my studies have concluded that things would be a lot easier, but drama only continues in my life because. <sighs> of course it does. Holy crap. That goes deep. I wonder how deep. See, that's why I wish I had the Cyclops, because then I could find out. I got excited because I have a sea moth. You want a tango, we'll play tango. But you will not like the results. Hmm. Something tells me they don't want me in here. Where can I find the Cyclops engine at? This is kind of ridiculous. Like, you would think it wouldn't be this difficult just to find two fragments of the Cyclops engine. Am I just not looking in the right area?
Uh, whole fragment. I went too far from the sea moth grave. I might actually drown right here. I think I just passed a piece of the Cyclops engine. 26, 27, 20. Uh oh. Two. Boom. I just saw something white back there. Oh, it's a whole fragment. Of course it was. This is ridiculous. I think I think I've found more whole fragments than I have uh, bridge fragments. We're going to try a different area. Okay, Shocky... Oh. Shocky boy is not excited to see me at all. Why can't I find any? Seamoth fragment, or bioreactor fragment. And that's a dead boomerang fish. Why do I remember? Um, I remember there being really cool, uh, caves in the area. Maybe I'll go check those out and see if they have anything worthwhile. But I don't even know where they are. Yeah, the sea glide says there's nothing else down here. It's a dead end cave. Hmm.
reality is often most disappointing. You know, this game really hasn't isn't as much of, a, of an adventure as I thought it would be. It's mostly just been me hunting for the engine fragments since episode. Jeez, uh, for a while now, at least. Aurora Borealis, at this time of year, localized entirely in your kitchen? Yes. May I see it? No. <sighs> I'm really sorry, guys, this isn't been really turning out as a good, uh, watchable series. I mean, hopefully you enjoy the ambient noise and my occasional whispers, but this episode in particular hasn't really been any of that. So my apologies. This kind of goes high up. Oh, my head. Okay. So I'm at this island over here. Which also means there's a reaper nearby. Which also means I need to get out of here as fast as possible. Oh. <sighs> Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, it's already 50 minutes in, and I told myself I wouldn't do these kind of long videos anymore, because they're like super draining and whatnot, and they take forever to render, but I can't keep myself because I just want to keep playing the game. I can hear my laptop suffering in the background there. Or laptop. You only have to suffer a little bit longer because I'm trying to find the freaking Cyclops engine. Is that Life Pod 3? Yes, it is. I need to remember where the. Um, because there's like a point where she said, like, the area we're currently in is like super vast of like caves and whatnot. You should go explore them, wink wink, nudge nudge. Maybe there's a Cyclops engine down there, wink wink, nudge nudge. God, if only. Okay, I've caused, ooh, whoa. Oh, this looks somewhat promising, but sadly, I must call the episode an end because I'm going to end up getting caught up in all this stuff here and this is going to be the first 50 minute episode by the looks of it. That's great. I'm really hoping for that engine bay. Oh, whoa. What's this? You know what? I ain't even mad. I needed this. <sighs> okay. So, at least we got that. You know, we've already, we had some kind of good luck finding the modification station at least. Maybe I'll get even more luck and find more parts to the uh, Cyclops engine by just kind of like slowly scanning. Oh, whoa, what's that? Oh. Hmm. <gasps> That's a monopole fragment. <sighs> Oops. This is kind of a cool screenshot. Let's get it from the underbelly, though. So it's like that. 
A little bit lower. Perfect. There we go. All right. Though it sounds like we have bigger problems over the horizon. All right, well, thank you for watching this extraordinarily long episode of Subnautica. We actually got a decent amount done, and on the upside, we did manage to find the monopool, for, or the remaining piece of the modification station. So that is, that is cool. Definitely needed that. Anyways, I wanted to thank you for watching and sticking around this long if you have. I'll try to avoid doing I'll try to avoid doing videos this long in the future. Um, so maybe next episode we'll finally find the legendary Cyclops engine. And I think that this is finally the point where I can snap and um, Google it because I did not spend nearly this much time in my last playthrough searching for it. So, uh, boy, this has been depressing. Quite the search this has been. All right, well, hey, thank you for watching. I really appreciate that, that you, uh, have decided to allocate an hour of your precious time to me because uh time is something that um well yeah yeah can't really uh, get back and the fact that you uh decided to spend it here it's pretty cool thank you for that i also wanted to say i am really happy that we are at 85 subscribers right now so that's pretty cool um, I'm still a little shocked about that, to be honest. Um, it seems like every, like, cause I, I only check it, like, like, I really do a full check it in the morning when the, like, the, the previous day analytics come out and at night. So, and it's like, I refresh it, you know, this morning was 82, checked a couple comments out, then it was at 83, and then tonight it's at 85, so it's cool. All right, well, hey. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day.